Welcome to HPS and today we are doing an install video for the HPS silencer on the Polaris Pro for the 2011, 2012 and 2013 800 and 600. But before we can install the HPS silencer on this Polaris Pro, we first need to become a Polaris kidney donor. To remove the Polaris kidney bean, you first need to remove all the springs. There are four total springs, two short and two long. To install the HPS silencer, you'll need both of the long springs and one of the short springs. The other short spring, just keep around for a spare. This is the HPS silencer for the Polaris Pro. Um, this chassis in the video is a 2013. Um, it is a little bit different than the 2012-2011. The 2012 and 11 had an, a bracket down here to support the stock silencer before. Uh, the 2013 does not have it. We have never utilized this bracket. Therefore, the HPS silencer for the Pro is the same part number for all three years. And to install this is very easy. All, all you want to do is make sure that this bottom a gasket is lubed so that this silencer can slip in really easily and what you want to do is stick the silencer in the bottom of the slit first and then bring the pipe to your silencer. You take the long springs and you hook them um, to the pipe and the silencer. And then you take the short spring and you hook it to the back of the silencer to the top spring hook of the chassis. And that is how you install the HPS silencer for the Polaris Pro. This HPS silencer for your Polaris Pro will reduce your sled's weight by 7 pounds and gain your performance 5.5 to 6 horsepower in your mid-range and just under 3 horsepower on your top end. Um, this sled likes to run at 81 to 81.50 max RPM. This is where we have found where your your peak horsepower and torque is generated. You have just successfully installed your HPS silencer on your Polaris Pro. Be sure to check us out on hpsusa.net and like us on Facebook.